I saw a funny thing on YouTube. Well, well, anyway, it was uh, Donald uh, Trump, you know, the President of the United States, uh, coming down, uh, you know, I guess it's Air Force One, an airplane, you know, with the with the metal steps or whatever have you. I had, at least I saw at least halfway down. Boy was like saluting, <laughs> trying to get down the steps because he was a you know military guy down there. And I guess because he's the um, he's the head of the, the special force. I mean, he's commander in chief of all, of all the forces or whatever have you. And I guess he has to salute. No, he doesn't have to salute. He's a civilian. He doesn't know how to salute. I mean, no words. He's never been to a boot camp. He never been to ROTC. I mean, Barack Obama, the same thing. You know, he he made a full part one time. I think he was holding a coffee in one hand and something. He did some weird thing or didn't salute. I don't know. And they were saying, oh, he didn't salute. But the thing is, these folks are not, I mean, unless, you, unless you're military, then you're not supposed to salute anyway. I mean, you know, the, like the British, you know, the, the, I see a lot of the British uh, colonial kind of things, like in, in Indian, whatever have you, and, you know, they do like that. You know, different ways of saluting, you know. Uh, so, I mean, even here in, in, in um, in, in South Africa, the Zulus uh, supposedly, um, at least when I saw Shaka Zulu, they don't do this like that, they, they used to salute like this to show basically that you're unarmed. You know, I mean, that whole unarmed thing is a whole military thing too. I mean, the, the, that whole thing of shaking hands, it's just, shaking hands is actually a salute. But it was so that because back in the day, in you know, Europe or whatever, they, they drew swords with their right hand. They sword fighting like that with the right hand. Um, so, you know, you were showing that you were unarmed like 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 that you see like that uh and i love black america though like in the 60s especially saluting man we did this dab you know we did all kinds of things there's an excellent movie called uh, <laughs> called watch that uh, there's this dancers in the crowd uh, dancers in the stadium you know in the, in the stands they do a certain salute dancing and salute but also um uh, Richard Pryor's in the movie, he shows us, he talks about the DAP and how it changes all the time. Let's, let's, go, let's go back to salutes. And, 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 and so there's different ways of salute. I know when I was, also when I was in India, uh, like uh, I was in uh, Pontchartrain in, this, in the Tamil Nadu state, the southeast um, um, part of the, of the country. And uh, Sri Aurobindo's people now in, um, in India, you know, they salute. You know, basically they told us there's Namaskar, that kind of that kind of thing. Or every civilian, everybody does it. I guess the military is still the British way. I'm not really sure. I don't remember that. But uh, Sri Aurobindo's people, which is strange because just the way I salute. I mean, when I was, I was salute like instead of doing that, I salute like this, hand over the heart, and I and I do like this. You know, um, and and so when I was in Sri Aurobindo's country, you know, or area when he went to his ashram. That's the way they salute. I said, wow, that's interesting. Now I got this whole, you know, this part over the heart, that's this, I mean, give my heart to you. But the, this thing is like, to me, I used to do this in Central America a lot, you know, because just me, to me, it's like suave, you know, chill, like that. So I sort of like that. Now I, I use that a lot just in passing, whatever happens. It's also a defensive thing, too, you see, like that. So this whole saluting thing is just very, very funny to me. But then I was thinking about this whole thing with Donald Trump and, and Barack Obama and these people, these presidents that are not military. Whom were not on shit and they salute. But what, what, where do you get this whole thing of saluting anyway? I know that in uh, uh, the CIA, you know, those, those clandestine organizations, they were started by, the big one was OSS, you know, operations, whatever it is, from World War II. And those guys recruited straight from, from, from colleges, you know, those frat boys and stuff like that. They, they recruited straight from college, you know, the frat boys do that kind of thing. So, I mean, I guess they learned how to salute, but they're not military minded. You know, they were doing all kinds of subterfuge or whatever have you. To this day, they do the same thing. And to this day, they have their frat boy mentality, you know? And this whole thing about we gotta win, da da da. And it's, it's, that's, whole, that's a whole, my fraternity is better than your fraternity thing, you know? That's my sports team is better than your sports team thing. I mean, talk about sports, Colin Kaepernick. You know, in a way, him coming down on one knee is, um, it's a protest, sure, but it's way, it's a, it's, it's a distress salute. Because if you're if you a player, like if I was a player in a, so some military, or, no, I'm sorry, no, I'm a veteran, I can have a choice. I can salute like this, I can salute like that. It's the Air Force way. Also, can I call it this way? Like that. Anyway, I can salute like that. But, uh, 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 through the flag, but I, the way I would salute, if I had to do that, I would get down on one knee too, because I'm praying, one knee praying, uh, for, for the soul of the country, for them to do right. This, things are not right. That's why. That's the salute of getting down on one knee. If everything was all right, you could do the military like that. If everything was all right, my heart's in the country, then you could do that. See how that works, you know? So anyway, I went this whole, whole long thing and said, hey, saluting.
do it right or don't do it at all. And if you ain't, if you're not orientated toward it, just leave it alone. If you don't know what you're doing, so leave it alone. All right, that's that's a message from me, T. For the Pattinsons taking the train to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect.